Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about this lovely guitar, the Parker Fly, the Mojo. Fun fact about this guitar, this was a gift from my dentist, Dr. Nierengarten. And after many years of resisting, I accepted on the condition that I could use it to its fullest capacity. And that was a condition for myself. Don't let this thing sit in a case and go unused. So here you have it. This guitar, while being four pounds, the lightest guitar I own, is also such a powerhouse and versatile tonally. We have the standard two humbucker setup, three-way switch between them. You can split the coils if you'd like, and you can also blend this wonderful piezo sound in with any of those combinations. It's pretty incredible. And we're gonna dive into just a couple of those today, and I hope you enjoy it. First up, we have the acoustic sound. What a gorgeous sound for a piezo pickup, am I right? It's pretty incredible. A lot of thanks and credit, though, goes to Cooper Carter and his Fractal Friday episode, where he dives into how to get a really good acoustic sound out of your Axe FX3. If you're interested in checking that out, the link is in the description. Incredibly helpful. It's the basis of input two, as you can see on my Axe edit. I did change quite a few things based on this piezo setup. If you're interested in my settings, you can send me a message or leave a comment. I'll send this to you on Exchange if you're interested. Why not? They're just ones and zeros. I don't own them. So I use this sound a lot when I play this guitar, and I often blend it with either a clean or a clean with chorus. So let's go into that. Again, I will play the clean guitar, the acoustic, and then the two combined. As you can tell, a lot of great tonal possibilities. I'm using the Tube Pre as my amp block for the piezo system, input line two, and I'm using the USA Clean, now known as the USA Rhythm One, for my clean sound. I'm a huge Mesa Boogie fan, and what a wonderful clean sound that you can get out of that. For the chorus, in this example, I was using a Dimension Two. Depending on the era, I will go between that Japan CE2, a digital stereo or an analog stereo chorus, and usually on my foot switch I have the ability to go between them, which is quite wonderful. So now that we've heard that, let's dive in to just the clean sound, no effects. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see from all of this, these pickups are very versatile, but let's split them. Now that we've had a look at that, let's check out some rhythm tones. For this one, a Brit 800, Marshall JCM 800. Now that's just with a slightly overdriven Marshall. Let's kick it up a notch. for hours. But I've got one more stop to make and that's the lead tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I might get in trouble with that last one, but this is just a glimpse into all of the tonal options you have with this, depending on your setup and your needs. That's why I love bringing this guitar along with Blue, my Steve Morse Music Man, to any gig, and I know I'm going to be covered. You can even blend the acoustic and the electric sound like I did here. I utilized that in the Meatloaf tribute for the song Midnight in the Lost and Found. And I did it because the song has acoustic guitar underneath a double tracked rhythm when the guitar solo is happening. I figured I could do that from one guitar, just pan hard left and right, and then play stereo live. And the sound guy might not like you at first, but when you're trying to mix a recording later, it really creates the illusion of two instruments. And it doesn't have to be pan hard left in the house, but it gives you that separation within two channels that they can control independently, whether it's my acoustic signal, my electric, or in some cases, both distorted electrics to get that big double tracked sound. I hope you enjoyed this look into the Parker Mojo and into the Fractal. And we'll deep dive into some tones. If you're curious about some of the tones that I've created, leave a comment, send me a message. I'd be happy to share stuff with you. Uh, again, they're just ones and zeros, right? I don't own them. And stay tuned for more. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.